just do not be having kind of the drawings or pictures, just so you know the ideas and the sub items for your subjects of writing. The second, uh, also, I note out like exercise of sentences naming. Each sentence, for example, if you are dealing with a topic of safety first, you're going to be doing, for example, kind of kosher sentence. Be aware toward what you eat food, then you throw kind of uh, vermin foods, danger from GMPs, maybe hydrogen or something like that's going to be hurting the body and uh, the consummation of the human beings and health. And also we have another exercise, you may be also in the other game, which is matching between the sentences. But to lead the student to understand, oh, this is kind of kosher. Toward this sentence is also for kosher toward uh, what, what we eat, what we eat, kind of food. This kind of variety for the vegetarians and for meat eating and something like that. And the other, uh, mainly the process and the, 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 the operative uh, task is going to be all about the form. If you are just dealing with a letter writing, maybe in your essay writing, you're going to be favoring them as an item just to toward and behold for a student itself to be well denoted toward this failure. How to get those two points in the first exam, for example, out of the failure form. And the other expressions. You denote in your result how to be well rhetoric. Because we know our students are not so great writers and themselves not great expressive in their own. So we just denote them for kind of expressions. They will be getting familiar with the use, with the use of uh, dictionary too. And the last one also, uh, this teacher student interaction. You build you them up, then you get the brainstorming ideas, and you may map them down in the form. And then you start to work in pairs and work uh, pairs and also in uh, groups. That's what I'm going to be teaching you. Yeah, number one. Yeah. Otherwise.